Hello friends, I am Dr. Manish Bhatnagar. I am the director of Icon Hospital at Vastrapur, Ahmedabad. And I have been in clinical practice of gastroenterology and hepatology for the last 22 years. Today on the occasion of the World IBD Day, which is the Inflammatory Bowel Disease Day, I would like to give this message to all of you who may be suffering from the disease or who need some awareness about this disease. Inflammatory bowel disease is something which affects more than about 4 lakh patients in India every year. So, first thing to understand for the patients is that you are not alone. This is a common condition. It is a treatable condition. It's not a curable condition. It's a bit like hypertension and diabetes where one lives with the problem. It's important to understand that one shouldn't live for the problem but with the problem. It's very important that one keeps a positive frame of mind because stress is known to aggravate inflammatory bowel disease. The patient should not feel frustrated because it's a lifelong problem and you should be regular with your uh, follow-ups with your doctor and continue to take the medicine as prescribed. Self-medication, alternative medical therapies are usually tried by a lot of patients but they should be discouraged and one should understand that your doctor is the best person to advise to you regarding the drugs which one can take. Now coming to the symptoms and the presentation of IBD, most of the patients will complain of bleeding in the stool, they might have abdominal pain, they will complain of diarrhea, they will have mucus in their stool, they may have uh, weight loss and difficulty in eating their food. Now it is important to understand that a lot of these things can happen with a lot of other conditions like piles, like uh, fissures, like malignancies. So one needs to consult a doctor if you are having diarrhea with blood in your stools and a simple investigation known as a colonoscopy is something which diagnoses this condition for good and then you can be treated and once treated the patient improves and has a very good quality of life with proper treatment. It is important to understand that diet also plays a major role in keeping you healthy and one has to avoid very fried and spicy food and milk and dairy products is something which needs to be restricted or stopped altogether. It's very important that one consults a doctor at the right time, gets diagnosed and a simple procedure like a colonoscopy is all that is required. The other thing to keep in mind is that this is a pre-malignant condition. Having said that, the rates of malignancy, the incidence of malignancy is not that high. So one shouldn't sort of run away from the problem but must be aware of what one is dealing with and then accordingly take uh, remedial measures according to that. Also important that one needs to exercise, keep a positive frame of mind like I said, remain stress free, take the dietary control, follow the instructions given by your doctor, get an annual or a biannual colonoscopy as the case may be if one is in a high risk category. If there are any relatives who have suffered from this, then it is very likely that it might run in the family. However, it is not essential that just because the parents had IBD that the child will also have IBD. So one keeps getting these questions in clinical practice. Why did it happen to me? Why isn't it going away? Why only I had this problem? Nobody really knows what triggers this off. It could be an infection, it is an autoimmune condition and there are multiple hereditary and other factors which we still don't understand. But suffice to say, it is a disease to be treated like any other disease but a lifelong commitment in terms of treatment and follow up as per your doctor's advice and one would do well. I wish you all the very best and I hope that uh, all the patients who suffer from IBD follow their doctor's instructions and do well in life. It is a disease which we can beat together and one must be optimistic about facing this problem. Thank you very much.